everyone. Welcome back to Yuki Koi Melt, episode 33. So it looks like Tarhi's portion of the common route takes on a different approach compared to the other girls. So for the other girls, it's more like what they can offer to Miharu now that he's part of. The Winter Club, but for Tarhi, it's more like she wants help from Miharu. So the problem is that Tarhi is getting too much credit for what she is. Like, oh, this Winter Master, the person who made Yuromaru. But the truth is that Tarhi doesn't really like the winter like Miharu, and she's having trouble finding the right time. A moment to reveal the truth to everyone, and whenever she tries, she gets too nervous and ends up saying the wrong things. And now she's trying to write a letter to present to everyone, except for the fact that it got misinterpreted by the other classmates, especially Mitsuhashi. So, anyways. Let's see how it goes from here. Now that they were able to get away from Mitsuhashi and more of her unwanted jokes, so Tarhi's like. Hmm. So think of it as your natural charisma. So, can I? So you make it sound easy than it actually is. So I give her a wry smile and open the letter. Wait, 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 you can't. So you can't read it here because it's already caused quite a stir. Well, I mean, the sooner the better, right? So, but. Well, it's okay. So it takes me a lot longer to go and buy something at the cafeteria, anyways. So I'm sure I can read all of this in a short amount of time. So, so nanda. Um. Hmm. Okay. So give me a moment. So I'm not even halfway through yet. Hmm. So what does Mihara think of the letter? Okay. So nice handwriting, Himeguri. So, so. So it's really clear and easy to read. Okay, and all right, done. So, what does he think of this eloquent letter? Well, it's written really nicely. So, even though it's written nice, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Well, then it gets more like the words are legible, but the thought is confusing. There you go. So not the content. And besides, I wouldn't include interjections like um, uh, and so on in a written letter. So don't put all those. Um, uh, I think it's um, the dot dot dot. Ah, sorry. Kogotai. So that's what she was mumbling about during class. Well, I mean, can you be a little more direct and just tell them how you feel? Well, I mean,、um, you keep hesitating, which is the main reason why they keep getting. 
Let's see, sidetracked. So you got to tell them exactly how you feel, quickly and succinctly. So no, uh, maybe, um, I think it's like... So Tarhi just needs confidence to make this happen. Come on, so you're trailing off again. And there's no way you'll be able to convey your feelings when you're speaking like this. <sighs> well, I guess so. Ah, damn, so was that a bit too harsh? But still... <laughs> well, I didn't say that. Um, well, that is true. Well, I'm sorry, I went too fast. So, and then you find yourself unable to say anything, right? Okay, Tarhi is worried that, well, if I do reveal the, the truth, it might make them upset because I'm in a group filled with people who really love the winter, and by saying I don't like the winter, it's going to ruin their... I don't know what word to use, but it's like, um, they'll be upset because they will see me as being out of place. Or like being the party spoiler. Ah, so now that I mention it, you do come off as kind of nervous. Well, it's not that she's not putting in enough effort. If anything, she tries way too hard. That's true. And that's how she ended up in an awkward position, which is why I can't help being curious. So what changed your mind, and why do you suddenly want to confess? So the problem is that Tarhi can't keep up with this two-faced approach, so it's very difficult for Tarhi to pretend that she likes the winter, even though that's not true. And I'm sure at some point, the truth will eventually spill out. Because there will be a point where Tarhi can't handle all this anymore. No, well, that's not what I mean. Why do you suddenly decide to change things now? Okay, even Tarhi isn't really sure why she wants to reveal the truth at this time. So wouldn't this be a lot easier if we knew the answer to the question? So she's able to be herself with me, so there's no reason why she shouldn't be with everyone else. And with that in mind, I wait for her, her reply. And So I think Mihara was kind of an influence to Tar. He's like, well, I see that there's someone who doesn't like winter also in the winter club. So, there is someone that's kind of in the same boat as me, so maybe he can help me. Oh, so that's what you mean. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's the kind of girl she is. And it would be a mistake to interpret anything she says in a romantic way. Um, well, nothing, so anyways, you should try to fix the letter. So... Some suggestions. Uh, uh, and 
I end up using half of my lunch break summarizing all the parts that need improvement. And I wonder if it's the entire letter that needs to be written from scratch from down up. So throughout my afternoon classes, I absentmindedly stare at Himegiri's back. So both of our seats are by the window. So mine's in the third row and she's on the second. And from what I can see, she's doing her best to quickly take notes so she can use the extra, the extra time to fix her manuscript. Hmm. So she is really putting lots of effort into this. And I hope the issue will be resolved smoothly, but I wonder if that's even possible. And I've thought this through multiple times, and I arrived at the same conclusion every time. Yeah, well I can't think of any other way. But I have made up my mind. Okay, so first let Himegiri try and solve things on her own, and if that doesn't work, then I'll decide whether I should continue to help her or continue to let her fix the problem herself. So I understand what it feels like, getting scared when push comes to shove. Ah, so that little term from Moment in Your Closet. But still, she won't le learn anything if she tell, or like if I tell her exactly what to do or what to write. Or worse, she might develop a habit of re relying on other when it comes to important matters. It almost feels like a doting father. Yeah, well, but this is important, so let's see whether Himegiri is able to solve her problems herself. And I put the matter aside and direct my gaze to the scenery outside of the window. And what does he see? Oh, so I just hope that, that the Winter Club continues to exist in the same form I have grown attached to. And it seems like I've grown fonder of it than I ever thought I would. Okay, so I wonder how many days has it been since Tarahi started writing the, the letter. So decide to watch on as Himegiri Taruhi tries to solve her problem. So, um, Himegiri? Uh, hi. So, what's the issue now? A few days later, after Himegiri finished writing her confession letter, we're sitting across from each other on top of the dorm's roof. So how many times have you failed to hand your letter over to me now? <sighs> so she already she looks pretty heartbroken, but maybe it's just my imagination. So Himegri has spent the past few days trying to give the letter to the other people or to read it out to them. Okay, so now it's done and Tari he has to present this letter to the other club members. However, she would always hesitate at first. Lean the whole thing down the usual cascade of failures. So sometimes she get interrupted, other times she forget to bring the letter, 
And that's just the least of it. So what else did Taruhi do wrong? Oh no, so the teacher, again. So her drunk, her upset because someone else is married. Hmm. So you know at this point, I can't help but wonder if it's fate. Well, I'm sure that has nothing to do with how they were unlucky all the time. Calm down, Tarhi. I pat Himegari on the shoulder. Yeah, well, I can't believe it's already the finals week. And that's why we only had classes this morning, and also why we were able to spend the afternoon hanging out on the roof like this. So, so de, hmm. I bet you want to postpone the plan until the finals are over, right? Well, I'm sure it's obvious. It's like, well, let's just focus on passing all those finals, and then we can work, worry about this later. So, obviously, it's not hard to guess. Well, I've been watching you over the past few days anyways. <laughs> well, it's fine. Well, to be honest, I was about to suggest the same thing, so... I was also going to mention, well, let's just focus on the finals, and then we can worry about this later. We need to focus on studying for now. There you go. And once the tests are over, you are going to confess, so no messing around, okay? Good? Well, anyways, make sure you get good grades. So, what about it? So, you don't want to confess while feeling dejected, right? Well, I mean, there's no telling what might cause her to fail again. But I keep that thought to myself. Hmm, so is there something wrong? So is there something else you are worried about? Oh well, so um, don't keep me waiting. So what? Okay, so... What else do you have on your mind? And Tari, he's like, Math? Wait, you want me to teach you? Well, come on. But the class is given in Japanese, so how come you need help in math? I'm sure it's more like, I don't know how to do math, but I can understand the instructions on this class given from the teacher. Wait, so are you really bad with math that your grades are really low? Well, Himeguri? Well, I'm not sure I get that comparison. 
but it sounds pretty bad. Well, you're hopeless. Well, I'm not that good myself, but at least I can try. Wait, so didn't you say teach me everything? So every subject that we have? Well... Come on, look at me. Say no, I also do poorly in English. Well, I... So figures, I'm starting to get used to those comparisons too. But come on, so these classes have nothing to do with Japanese. Well, I don't think language is the only issue here. Well, you don't look too worried in class. Okay, so Tarahi's image of perfection extends to her academic studies. So she wants to also look good when it comes to studying all the academic subjects. But now that Miharu has talked to Tarahi, he learns that Tarahi isn't really the perfect model student that Tarahi puts herself to appear as. Jeez, so you are really not giving me much of a choice here, so... Okay, I'll try to help you. So, in exchange for hearing that song in full... So I wonder if Tarahi purposely mentioned that she's bad in her, in her classes so that she can get Miharu to help her more. But anyway, it's like, well, if you want me to help you in your classes, you have to tell me about that cow song from episode 32 or 31. Uh, so, wh wait, why? Well, right now I'm getting nothing out from teaching you, so you have to pay me somehow. And so I'm saying that I'll do it in exchange for hearing that song. <laughs> so you should be glad I didn't ask to touch you in your body. Well, Hey, you said that you call me horny, right? Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry. So, that was a pretty bad joke. But anyways, I forgot who I was talking to. So, you're not Mitsuhashi, after all. Okay, fine then. So, I'll choose the song as my payment. Wait, seriously? Well, I'm sorry, I got caught up in the moment. So, do you do it on purpose? says Tarahi. Uh, no, I don't deny it. Oh, come on. Ahaha, yeah, well. This is awkward. And why do you keep blurting out jokes like that in front of her? Well, maybe it's because Mitsuhashi has put an influence on Miharu. Well, it's like my focus slips whenever I'm dealing with her. She's so easy to tease, it's almost impossible to resist. So, hmm. So when I look at it that way, I come off and ask... Well, I'm kind of like a dick, am I? Okay, so the song. Uh, yeah, so please... Okay, so if I sing it, don't laugh. Because um, it'll make me feel bad. I know, I know. 
Well, I'm not sure if Mihari's going to hold to his promise. Because it sounds like he is going to laugh so hard when Tarhi hits a pretty embarrassing part of the song. Okay, you really promise that you won't laugh? Okay, I won't laugh, I swear, okay? Just believe in me. To be honest, I'm not that interested in the song anymore. I never really was it was to begin with. I just figured it'd be good for Himeguri to practice do something in front of people. And as I'm thinking that, Himeguri places her hand on top of her head and then... Um, Himegri san, so why are you jumping up and down? And what's with that song? So, all these nice, eloquent expressions of different animals the way that they move, the way that they appear cute, and. Um, Himegri san? <laughs> So, what's wrong? So, where's the cow? Huh? Um, so, I thought you were singing the song that you mentioned before, so, isn't this something else? Huh? Well, the thing is that you got the title wrong, so the song was about the rabbit and not the cow. Wait, what are you talking about? So, if I remember correctly, it was about the cow, right? Well, then, so I had the miss in the spur of the moment, and that was embarrassing. Huh? Well, I was talking about the Mumu song, so you know the one where you are gonna milk it dry and so on. So I think Miharu misunderstood the word mumu or mo. And it's like, um, that's actually a term I use for how rabbits express themselves when they're angry. So. Hmm, so that's beyond misleading. And what's up with putting politics in a nursery rhyme? I never heard of anything like that. Well, I'm positive it's a local thing. Well, you made me sing the song, and I don't feel comfortable with it. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Well, so don't you mean mean classmate? And did I just level up? Hmm, wait. So, a mean mate level above classmate. Well, whatever. So that said, you got it. Let's so say you got that choreography down to a T. Is that how you sing it all the time? Well, no, but you wanted me to sing it with everything that I had. Huh? And in return, how about you sing the Mumu song again? So right now I'm getting 
nothing out of teaching you. And so I'm saying that it would do, or like I'll do it in exchange for hearing that song in full. Okay, so he tries to pull back on his deals. Like, well, I didn't mean full power. I mean in full, not so sing the entire song from start to end. And I didn't really mean add in all the things that you would usually do. So move around, dance, and choreographed to the song. So then I go overboard. So I did more embarrassing things than I could have got away with. Um. Ah, uh, so she slumps down to the ground and is hugging her knees. She looks like a dejected tomato. Hmm. So it can be such an airhead sometimes. Hey, come on! So Megri just stares at me. Hmm. So I really upset her. Haha, ha, so which one are you talking about? So is it Mo as in rabbit or Moo Moo as in cows? <laughs> this one. He immediately puts her hands on top of her head, flopping them forward or around. Hmm, so that cow has quite the respectable set of horns. <laughs> So those are So those are rabbit ears. Haha, <laughs> well you provided me with a sufficient amusement, so I think I'm obligated to help you with your own studies now. Okay, so my like your side of the deal is fulfilled, so now I have to fulfill my side, which is to help you with your studies. <laughs> well, come on, so you should use words like that to describe yourself. Yeah, it does. So I think I may have been wrong the whole time. Well, I swear, everything I say just goes straight over your head. Okay, so now teach me. Moo Moo, Momo. Oh, come on, so stop that. <laughs> Sorry, well, I just had to. It just sounded very. Cute and interesting. Moo Moo, Momo, Rabbit, the song, dance, everything. So I receive another one of her punches in protest. And so I end up having to help Himeguri study for our finals. And the thought of teaching someone despite being a recent transfer student is pretty weird, but I guess it's okay because she can teach me biology and history in exchange. So Tarhi's like, well, I'm good at biology, history, and language, but I do poorly in math and English. Himegri is surprisingly good at some subjects and hopelessly bad at others. And so on, the exam week passes in the blink of an eye. Okay, so now we're past the finals and okay, they're over. They're already over. Or finally over. So Himegri and I are walking down the road to the station together. So what's up? So now that the exams are over, well, you don't look too happy. So it's more than just, well, I wonder how I did on those exams. Now it's like, well, 
We also have a holiday coming up. Today is the 22nd of, of December. And this town is pretty tr traditional when, with, with, with what's happening. Okay, so with its hot springs and all, so there is none of that usual gaudy red and green decorations plastered everywhere, but there still definitely is a festive mood in the air. So I'm sure it's like, well, we don't really see red and green decorations, which includes Christmas lights everywhere. Oh, those, are, those are nice. A Christmas tree, some ornaments, and... Some bells, a wreath. Well, you know, the um, Christmas spirit. Especially, it reminds me of Home Alone, the first movie, where pretty much the whole house is decorated in Christmas style. So, lots of red and greens. And... Well, anyways. So, you okay, Himegri? Well, I'm fine. Well, actually, no. Wait, so he may agree? So now that the finals are over, I have to face my fears. So now I have to reveal the embarrassing truth to everyone. Well, I can tell just by looking at you. So I've watched her mood deteriorate with each passing day. Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't really care about it. Wait, what? Well, I guess that makes sense. So normally this would be a potential cue for a romantic relationship, but I know that's one thing that'll never happen with any... or with this girl. Really? And besides, it seems she can't see right through me when I try to hide things from her anyways. Yeah, well, you're right. Well, everyone's worried about your mental well-being. Yeah. Well, there's no point in lying anymore. So I give her a sincere nod. Himeguri gazes at the festive scenery of our town for a while, and then... Okay, so I'm doing it. Wait, Himegri? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to rush you or anything. Um, it's okay, says Taruhi. Well, you're welcome. So, my heart swells in solidarity when it when I see the resolve in her expression. So you can't do it, Himeguri. Okay, so solidarity. Yes. Okay, so the moment of truth. So can Tarahi reveal the truth to everyone? So it looks like you don't need any further encouragement. So ready? <laughs> so I met up with Himeguri in the hall before dinner for some final touch-ups on the plan. Okay. So Tarhi gives the letter to Mihartik. So wait a minute. So are you not going to use this letter? So I'm going to go all out and speak from my thought and not read from a script. 
which is what the letter is more or less a resemblance of. But you've written this so many times, and it's like a waste. So all the effort going into nothing. Well, me too. And we exchanged knowing smiles. So Mercury gives me a, a deep bow, so sincere I can't even bring myself to tell her there's no need to. Hey M, so you can thank me after you succeed, okay? So after you revealed the truth to everyone. Well, I see. <laughs> well, in that case, show me what you have learned. So, go for it. <laughs> so I raise my hand, and Himegri meets it with a resolute high five. Okay, so what's happening right now? Okay, so it's just another ordinary dinner with hot pot again. Made by Yuki. Well, I think you mean good judgment. You don't need to go all out of your way to use words that you don't understand. Damn, so he made it looks pale as a ghost. So she may have made up her mind, but that hasn't made her nerves go away. And I shoot her glance, and then... So that manages to pull her out of her stupor when she notices. So, be strong. Be confident. Okay. So our wordless exchange ends with a firm nod from Himegari. So what's happening now? So what is it? <laughs> so her mouth gapes like a hooked fish letting out no sound. And the silence continues. Or should I say something to help her out? Or... So it's happening from the teacher now. So Zuri, can you fetch something from the fridge? But... So what's going on now? So confused, Chichu's son disappears into the kitchen, and Himegri and I exchange looks as Shizu returns with a... Hmm, so a box. So what's this? She places the large box in the middle of the table, and I'm not sure what it is, but I've seen that kind of square packaging before. So Misumi opens the box and... So it's a cake from the Kawasaki at the station. So I'm going to leave this to the next episode. And we're going to see what this cake is about. And I'm sure it's not Tarhi's birthday. 
So, anyways, Tarhi is still having trouble finding confidence in the right time to openly express how she really feels. And Tarhi does have some legitimate concerns about, well, if I reveal the fact that I don't like the winter to these other people, they might be upset because the Winter Club is a place where all of us winter lovers get to come together. So anyways, looking forward to the next episode. I will see you later.